Hi Donna fans, my name is Young. I am a music producer and a mixing engineer. I work with artists like J. Cole, Janelle Monet, and Jesse Rias. Today I'm gonna share with you guys the two new Donna products, the B1 bass synth and then also the stereo pad. I remember the first time I worked with J. Cole and that was the life-changing moment for me. He is actually the reason why I started producing back in 2018 and that was during the KOD album. He is just such inspiration. The way that he tells stories, the way that he dedicates towards his work, how much time and consistency that he puts into his work and his art. It's very impressive. Usually when we go into the studio, the first thing they usually do is to catch up with the producers and in the room and all of the friends they know. They will start talking about like what kind of theme they're thinking about. Sometimes the producer will pull up some beats they have or just a vibe they provide. And um, the artist will listen to it, they vibe with it, and then they will just say, okay, I got it. Some might just work it out the lyrics and, and melody in the room, but more than often right now, nowadays especially, they will just jump right into the booth and then start a recording a sketch of ideas they have inspired by the music. And then we just start from there and then piece the best part together. Yeah, that's usually how the workflow goes. Communication is huge, is key in a session. Sometimes you might have disagreements between the producers and the artists, or sometimes you have an idea for the artist and you wanna like put in your creative input. That comes into how you communicate your sentence towards someone. If you think that point is very, very important, you can bring it up in a different way, in a different time. Because sometimes they might in the zone, they're not listening to what you were about to say or what you're about to put into the mix, but you can just bring it up later with a different wrapping of, or different phrasing. That always works for me. Like, I don't like to disrupt the room or the vibe. I just like, okay, let's flow. And then I still remember that part. So I think it's really like how you, it's an art, like how you communicate with artists. And it's the biggest, most important thing in a session, I think. It's very important to know music creation is also an art, a form of storytelling. And I don't think AI can replace that storytelling, replace that emotion out of the humanity. I think that's what makes it human, is the intuitive, is the vibe, is the vulnerable, it's the imperfections in the music, in the arts, that makes it special. I believe everyone have that one or two songs that always brings you back to a certain moment. I mean, they can do so much more and maybe help us save so much time, but I don't think ever like AI could replace. And comes back to Donna Music, a lot of their new products have brought those analog feeling and then the intuitive playing into the scene. So I really like what Donna Music has provided for us. The stereo pad is actually really incredible. Like the times I had with the products. After a few days of trying the stereo pad, I actually wanted to have it in my travel to go package. And whenever I'm waiting at the airport or I'm just flying somewhere, I can't really bring the big Ableton push or a machine. I can just grab this tiny little box of stereo pad and then just start my ideas from there. I think it's actually very excellent to have the stereo pad go along with our DJing gear too because you can really easily play a drum pad, um, trigger some samples. It's so tiny that you can barely feel like it's there. And the responsive of the pads is actually incredible, like beyond my imagination. So I really like it. So I started off as an engineer in the studio. People started liking my mixes and that's how I became a mixing engineer. Being a mixing engineer really benefits to my growth becoming a music producer because I can make most of things sound good already. Working as a mixing engineer and a music producer, so sometimes when I'm working on the music production side, I have to be less meticulous about how it sounds or less about the technicality of things. I have to let my creative brain go wild. 
and then come back, fix it later when I'm actually doing the mixing process for the song. Switching hats is very important to like tell yourself before you jump into the project like, okay, now I'm doing the mixing work right now. That's what I'm focusing on. 